all the pieces. What up? This is 2E. Um, part of 2E Travels, you know, since I've been in a wheelchair, um, I showed you the other day how to fix the hubs for the larger tires. But uh, there comes a point where uh, your front forks here start jamming and it makes it hard to turn. Especially like this one, it, uh, I have what, the, what I call frog legs. If you see like this little rubber area, this acts as a shock absorber for the front wheels. But in this area is open, there's a bolt that attaches everything, but it's open and a lot of times it gets filled with dirt and grime. Like we just dug out like, like we were mining for like digging for gold or something like that. It was just all dirt. It's all the old rust. And so what right now what we're doing is uh, we're uh, going to get regular oil just uh, so that we can um, lubricate the older ball, ball bearings that we can't take out because it's really, they're stuck in there. But then we're going to fill it with uh, sort of that, that, uh, that thick oil so that um, if this is full when we close it up, it will be less likely to have a lot of water and whatnot. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to actually reassemble these. Um, I have a whole stick of ball bearings, brand new ball bearings. And these we will put in the front of the wheels when we put them back in. Uh, like when we took them off, it was like hair was wrapped around both ends and it was just all like cram and cram. So, uh, you know, maintenance, man. It's like a car, you know, if something goes bad, you gotta fix it. Well, my wheelchair is having trouble turning. Mm -hmm. And it's really annoying when, when you can't turn. I mean, it just well, interrupts the flow and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So well, it's something that you can sit there and pretend like it doesn't exist, but the fact of the matter is um, it needs to be fixed. And for you to know how to do that is the best. Um, again, we just took everything apart. We're gonna do it with the oil right now, and then we'll put it back together. Um, everything is uh, free flowing. This this is loose because it keeps getting banged, and the shock absorber, and that's because of all the stuff in there. It seizes it, so when it bangs, it hits at a weird angle. Whereas if it's nice and loose and and brand new like, it won't do that and, and uh, the shock absorber will be a good gauge. Uh, these are called frog legs, by the way. They're really cool. Uh, helps with a lot of the vibration. Um, I think in the future I'm going to have to uh, make my chair uh, more shock absorby if I'm going to be riding that bike. Um, the other alternative that I'm looking into it's a shock absorbent wheels. Um, they have these tri-spoke wheels that have shock absorbers at each angle. My uh, only concern is, is I don't know whether it's rated for speeds of 45 kilometers or not. I mean, that would really suck if you're going along and all of a sudden, you know, your wheel breaks and now you're just dragging one side and just scraping your body. And I don't want to look like it's you. Sorry, you too. You asked me to make this video and make me this video for you, brother. Yeah, you're like, the disabled community that gets out there, I need to show uh, how things are done and how we deal with them. And so this video is for you, and too, Mr. Like I always say, you know, you're always a motorbike away from being crippled or disabled, you know. So anyway, this was about wheelchair maintenance of the front wheel. Uh, takes time, takes a little muscle, some elbow grease, we'll do it, our hands will be dirty. If they're clean, we didn't do it right. All right, peace to the